<laughs> you guys want me to make more Coda videos, right? You want me to make more tutorials on Coda, right? I'll get to that, but first, I want to point out one thing. Coda and Notion. I've given Coda a lot of very nice love in the last year. I've made many videos talking about how great it is, but I do want to at least let Notion get a little one, two, three, four pushback on the fact that it also is better than Coda in some ways. Like for one, you see how much I managed to have here? You see how like excessively large this page is? Well, not even excessively, like it should be this large. It's a page. We're talking about a canvas software, right? Full width. Uh, somebody want to tell Coda that, someone want to tell Coda that uh, all this white space is um wasted. You could, you could use this, you know? You could have a page that has a full, like, if I put these two things next to each other, notice the reason that this, notice the reason that these two tables are like that in the template. Because if I drop this here and I drop this here, it only goes this wide. <laughs> Why? What is this? I have not understood for a while how Coda is like 12 out of 10 when it comes to functionality, but when it comes to aesthetics and, and like one of the main things they need to understand is the number one indicator of productivity is whether people enjoy what they're using or not. Therefore, therefore, the chances of somebody using a productivity app and their daily use probably has something to do with aesthetics and whether they like using it. So when it comes to having so much blank space, it hurts to think about, you're, all you need to do is some padding or unpadding in this case. And, and trust me, if, if this and this went to here and here, I could get so much more creative in these setups and I would be much more inclined to make Coda videos. But I remember trying to make someone going, good God, I can't even do a two column setup with tables. What? This is ridiculous. I'm not doing this. It was just so, it was so ridiculously small. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I gotta go back to the good old days where I didn't have columns. I'm a big column guy. You can clearly tell that by my Notion setup. You can tell by the Notion app system because it was literally able to fix Notion's navigation in my entire template system with the extra space. Can't exactly do that in Coda if you, you have all this dead space. Number two. All right, we gotta talk about the mobile app, okay? So it's no secret, right? Notion's mobile app's bad. You know, if I press, if I press inbox here, right? It, it's not good. Okay, we get that. We get that if I, we understand, it's fine. It took a while to load. The navigation here isn't amazing. But what I am able to do is customize the mobile view to be something that I'm liking. I'm going through a mobile navigation that will then let me go into these different pages very easily. I'm able to have specific mobile views that are nice. I'm able to look at my workout, what meals I need to make for the day. I'm able to look at all this sort of stuff very easily. What are you able to do in Coda? Only what, only what you're allowed to. So if we go to this task one here, right? This is one of the pages that exists in my Coda. So if I click within it, right? One, the load time, ouch. It looks nice. It's not bad looking, but I mean, I don't like it. Like there's no other nice way to say it. It's just not good. And well, it's nice that we have something and I can add some shortcuts. It's like when I go into it, it just, do you see this load time? This is a new, this is a new setup I'm showing you. It's not very, it's not very good. Look at this. It's bad. I can't, I can't right now. I literally, I literally cannot even. It, it took, that entire time I was talking, it was loading. This mobile app's garbage. Okay, I just, I hate to say it, sorry, but it is. And number three, listen, regardless of whether you want to call it garbage or not, I maybe it was a little harsh on calling it garbage, it's slow. The fact of the matter is, Notion has something on Coda that plenty of applications are struggling with as well. Notion has a functional desktop, Mac, iPad, mobile, and web app. It's got it all. <laughs> Like there's so many different situations where I feel like these applications come out and they, they have one or the other. And I'm like, I get it, but you're not new. Like you're not a startup anymore, you know? Like Coda, respect. If you're able to do this kind of functional stuff with a Google Drive sync and Notion can't even bot, can't even be asked to bother. What are we doing? Like, what are we doing here? Like, it's so cool that you're able to do this and have a Google Calendar sync. Like I have all of my G sheets right here. That's so functional. You get this thing to be a little bit more aesthetic. You get a na native app. I will make a course. I will probably upgrade to the pro plan just so I can show people the functionality. I will do those things. But man, if I don't like using it, I'm not gonna use it. And I kind of refuse to have an application as my main app if it's only got a web app. Hot take, but that's my thought on that. Although, to be frank, the functionality within Coda is top tier and sometimes beats Notion. If you wanna learn how to be more productive, this video will probably help you more than this one.